We've all been hurt in relationships. It's actually part of the human experience, this side of heaven. If we were honest, we would also have to admit that we too have hurt others, right? Often it isn't inten intentional, but either way, relationships are tricky. So what do you do? What do you do if someone has hurt you? I would start with asking a simple but profound question. Did they intend to hurt me? You see, often if we slow down long enough, we can see that although you're feeling hurt, the other person was not intentionally trying to hurt you. So why are you feeling hurt? Well, why can't you forgive and just move on? When we get hurt, we go into self-protection mode and often take offense. <laughs> see, being offended, it's actually a choice. Yep, it's a choice. You get to choose whether you will carry an offense or let it go. Often a conversation with the person involved, simply telling them that you felt hurt when they said or did that certain thing can lead to healing. And most often the two of you can work out your differences and move forward with a greater understanding of each other. I encourage you to not be easily offended. Listen to Proverbs chapter 17, verse nine. It says this, Whoever would foster love covers over an offense, but whoever repeats the matter separates close friends. You know, we're to be people that foster or grow love by covering over an offense. So how do we do that? Well, it's called forgiveness. Forgiveness is not holding someone's sins against them. And as the verse says, not repeating the matter. But well, what if someone has intentionally hurt you? Well, forgiveness is the answer once again. When we choose to forgive, we are treating people the way God has treated us, and God did not hold our sins against us. Isaiah 43 verse 25 says it like this, I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake and remembers your sins no more. When God forgives our sins, he forgets them. That means he no longer holds our sins against us. He doesn't bring them up again. We are to do the same. So choose not to be offended and quickly forgive. Don't go over and over what happened. When we keep retelling our story of hurt, it shows that we're still carrying it with us. Let it go. This will bring healing and peace to your life. It'll grow stronger relationships with others. You and they are set free to love others and to love God freely, not holding on to offenses, but choosing to forgive and grow in love. That's the way we were designed to live, and that's courageous living.